Which part? Today we're in Central Florida and we're going to hit the West Orange Trail and take you to the Oakland Nature Preserve. So right here, the blue line is where we're gonna start on West Orange Trail. We're gonna go to the Educational Center and hit a few of the different trails. A lot of the West Orange Trail is shaded by tree cover. A lot of old oaks, palm trees, lots of landscaping. At the water tower in Oakland is their center city. We're gonna be heading there where their city hall is of all of the rebuildings. Check it out. I, I'm, I'm here in front of their post office. To the right is their uh, city hall. It is a small historical building and across the street is their library. And this is the We are here. This is one of the entrance to the Oakland Nature Preserve. We locked our bikes up here on these convenient bike locks right in front of the museum in the parking lot. So there are coyotes, panthers, bears they've seen here on the trail. We arrive at the Oakland Nature Preserve. Right here is their educational center, which they have all kind of cool things. They have yoga on Saturday mornings. They have a uh, walking club. They have homeschoolers. They have replicas of crackers, they call them, which are log cabins. Over here, you're going to see the start of some nature trails. The museum is open today, which is over there. Right here, you can see all kind of natural things for the American bullfrog, different types of fish. have some bullfrogs, some fish, and some turtles. This one's called the blue gill. Let's see if we can find it. And I just found out that gopher tortoises do not swim. It is a land reptile, which is really cool. And they are protected, so we can't touch them. So I'm going to go search them out. She said they that, that one up there on the hill may be laying eggs. So this is the free museum here. They have all kinds of stuff and the animals that they have, bears, owls, artifacts that they've found and dug up, Indian relics. They hold Girl Scout and Boy Scout meetings here. And lots of stuff that they try and save. It's a great little free resource. Awesome. Fossil poop. Fossil poop. That's a big dino poop. <laughs> this is dino poop. Right there, fossilized feces. Yeah. That's funny. Dino poop. <laughs> the petrified wood. That's cool. That's scary. And all kinds of fossils. Fossils tell the history of life on Earth prior to us, after us. We are headed on the trail. Starts out paved. And we'll see where it leads us. So we're heading to the Boardwalk Trail, which is the blue trail here, and this should take us out to Lake Apopka. 0.7 miles out to Lake Apopka. There are a bunch of trails. We're taking the one that brings us down the boardwalk to the lake. That we all should know, and I'll remind you all, is do not feed the alligators. Do not feed them. And today it's averaging 88, 89 degrees. If the boardwalk wasn't here and this isn't raised up, we'd basically be walking through muck and marsh. One reason always to have two things, sunscreen and bug repellent. Because when you have heat and you have water, you will have mosquitoes. And we... So the gal in the museum said, when you get to number 400 on the post, there'll be numbers. We might see some alligators. So we are here at 370. Almost. So. It's a pretty cool banyan tree with all the moss hanging down. So this hike is definitely an easy hike very flat, has a boardwalk, 
It brings a trail all the way out to the beach, which is where we're heading now. And we'll show you at the end. But anybody can do this, even if you're handicapped in a wheelchair. So here we are, guys. This is the end. It brings you out to Lake Apopka. You could come here by boat, but they have it blocked off. You have to hike out to this pavilion. All right, guys, who can spot the alligator? He really does blend in over there. See? You're not even close. <laughs> We just saw an alligator, and there are some larger alligators out in Lake Apopka. So I was very, very excited to see that. Lake Apopka here is the fourth largest lake in the United States. There are houses, developments, nature preserves all around it. This is hiking in Florida, guys. It does not compete with Hawaii, but we live in Florida, so we're gonna find hikes and show you the best ones there are. So back here, there is a nature trail also that you can hike. It looks like it's a loop that goes around, might be one mile in a total circle. This is the bird watching area. These are the nest boxes of Oakland Park. They built these little boxes to give the birds some protection from the weather and climate when it comes and get out of the storms. Wow, check out that giant spider web. That means There's a giant spider somewhere around here. That web's got a whole bunch of stuff caught inside of it. The West Orange Trail ends up cutting right through downtown Winter Garden. This is a quaint little town. We've done a full video on this before. If you look in the playlist, Winter Garden. We ended up at this new pizza place. It's kind of like a subway of pizza. You build it as you go and then they serve it and they have a full bar here. This is a blood orange Ale. It's local. Hey guys, after our bike ride down the trail, we stopped at Manchini's. We got some great pizza and a beautiful abarata salad with mozzarella cheese, a beer, and a really cool watermelon cocktail. So we just had lunch at Manjoni's. It was really good. It's kind of like a hip pizza place with a bar. We had a great time. This is the end of our day. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, hit that button. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.